Open that door! Did you know that he was a child when you killed him? He's not old enough to drive. He's old enough to kill. Those kids didn't plan that robbery. They had a Fagan, you know, a scumball that makes the kids do his dirty work for him. The cops can't do nothing to us. How come they got you, Bob? All except for one cop, Hunter. He's a danger to us all, especially to you. Let's promise that no more of my friends will be hurt. Shake hands with your new friend. If you don't find Emilio before they do, we've killed another kid. Hunter! No! for me. Talk about a license to kill. You got it. You can rob. You can steal. You can do anything you please and nobody, nobody do a damn thing to stop you. Why is that? What makes you so special? What puts you, of all people, above the law? Is it because you're beautiful? You're super smart? You're born rich? <laughs> no. Though I think you're beautiful and smart enough, and I'm making you rich because of that special thing you do have, all of you. You all are juveniles and that's why the law can't touch you and now about tomorrow nothing can go wrong if you get busted no sweat just remember this the cops may be your enemy but the law is your friend the law says that because you're underage you're not held responsible for what you do so no matter what goes wrong, you don't have to pay the price. Miguel, getting all of this? Oh, sure, got it. But you were scared the first time. Sure you were. Listen to me, all of you. You don't have to be perfect. You don't even have to be good. All you have to be what? Tell me. Cool. That's all. That's all. Miguel, shake hands with your new friend. I don't think I'm ready for that, man. Sure you are. You can use it, too. A man pulls out a gun on you, you pop him. And the law will still protect you. A kid like you, most you get is three months in the country. You look taller, I say. How do you feel? Cool. Cool. <laughs> Thank you.
Remember what Algaigo said. Stay cool. Get him up! Open that door! I'll blow you away! Open it now! Open it now! Open it now! Come on! Get back! Get back! There's one in there! That's everything, kid. That's all there is. Let's go! Come on! Who is it? Unidentified. One of the thieves. Wait a minute. This is a kid. He can't be 15 years old. He's not old enough to drive. He's old enough to kill. What's this? Hey, Bill, come here. Can you get a shot of this for me? Like I said, that uh, tattoo belongs to a peewee gang in East L.A. called Los Diablos. I pulled their file from the gang task force. Here they are. All six of them. All children. Well, they don't think so. Here's the boy that was killed, Miguel Morales. He's been identified by his mother and his sister. This is his brother, Emilio. He's one year younger. And you think this is one of the boys that pulled the heist, huh? Probably. Listen, uh, I want to work with you guys on this. We were hoping you would. Maybe they've gone to mass. They've just lost a son. No, as we were driving by, I saw candles burning in the front room. You don't leave candles lit, not in these places. Come back, the house is burned down, maybe the neighborhood. Hey, there's the little brother. Drive this crate around in the back. You stay here with Louise. I'm going in there. Uh, no technicals, OK? There are kids in there. What do you mean by technicals? No bizarre behavior. Bizarre behavior? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What, uh, what's upstairs? Nothing for you, I say. You running girls in here? There's no girls working here. What's upstairs? Office. Apartment. The boss. El Gallo. Saw five uh, kids go upstairs. El Gallo's forming a basketball team. Five short kids. A peewee team. What do you want from me, I say? Short tomato juice.
The check catching job went down hard. We had to take the old man out. And we lost Miguel. So now, more than ever, we got to stay very cool, especially you, Emilio. Miguel was your brother, and because of him, the cops are going to be all over us. But remember this. When the old man killed Miguel, it was Humberto who took the old man out. Why? Because Miguel was Humberto's brother, too, as we all are. We're all brothers. You understand, Emilio? We, all of us, have lost a brother. Hey, man, I'm cool. Uh, but you still call for this meeting. Why? Talk about the money. We made a big score. You can think about that. Miguel's not even buried. It's, it's his share I'm thinking about. What happens to that? Emilio, Miguel went down. His share goes into the pot. I take care of it for all of you until all of you are 18. That's the rule. But it's my mom, man. She works hard, cleaning houses. You're going to be rich. You can live with a hooker in Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> now she lost Miguel. All her money goes into burying him. If I can just give her his share. Are you stupid? Didn't you hear what I said? The cops are going to be all over us because of Miguel. If you give your mother his share, they won't let up on us because they know that his brother was in on the heist. All his brothers. You got that? Man, I'm sorry, you know? I understand. Any more stupid questions? How about something for our pockets? 20 bucks? Nah. nah. Carlos bust me. There's a cop downstairs. I don't want him wondering where you got the money. Huh? I'll go down with you. As soon as I get a shirt, uh, I want to see how you handle yourself. If he hassles you. Emilio, you cool? Yeah. Cool. Uh, cool. <laughs> what did Emilio want? Money. It runs in the blood. You know, you and your kid brother have the same ideas. Did he want it for my mother as I do? Oh, see. Si. Yeah. Emilio's a nice boy. Like you're a nice girl. Well, if we're so nice, then why don't you want to help us? Hey, querida, don't I do enough for you? Take you to the races. Dancing, show you a hell of a time. Yes, but when I have a real need at a time like this to help my mother with the... Watch. When the cops are not around asking questions, I'll pick up the tab for the funeral. <laughs> and you can pay me any way you want. <laughs> Emilio, he wasn't involved in the shooting. He wasn't there with Miguel. No. Hey. Uh, I gotta go downstairs. You should be with your mother. Take the back way. All right. Hector Rivas. Hector! Is that you? It's El Gallo now. Come on down here, Hector. Hunter, if I had known it was you waiting here for me. I wasn't waiting here to see you, Hector. I stopped by to see Los Diablos. But now that I see you with these kids, it's all starting to fit for me. 
Hey, Vato, you can't come busting in here and... Hey, Carlos, stay cool. Hey. This cop doesn't play by the rules. We're lucky he didn't smash up the joint just to be doing something. You're very perceptive, Hector. You kids know that 20 miles from here, four kids robbed a check cashing store. One man was killed. One of the boys was killed also. That boy came from this barrio. Now, the stolen car they used was wiped clean of fingerprints. Very professional job. Just like the way you used to operate before I busted you, right, Hector? Hey, I did my time, and uh, I'm clean. Those kids didn't plan that robbery. They had a Fagan. What? They had a Fagan. You know, a scumball that makes the kids do his dirty work for him. What's the matter, Hector? Didn't you read Oliver Twist? Sorry. That's one I missed. Hey, check this action. Hey, sugar. How'd you like me to check your pipe? How'd you like my boyfriend to shut off your water? A hey, plumber. You asked for it, sugar. <laughs> I would have taken it, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, this big tough guy ever tell you how he got sent to state prison? Sure, man. Shoot him. <laughs> Shoot him. <laughs> he shot a woman, a mother in a convenience store when she went for the burglar alarm. Isn't that right, Hector? Not me. The kid I was with, he pulled the trigger. Yeah, he sure did. You see, Hector's partner was a minor. So Hector went to San Quentin for eight years. Well, the boy went home in five days. That's something you probably thought an awful lot about, sitting up there in a hard time, right? Yes, I did. And I figured it all out. <laughs> I'm too old for the life of crime. Yeah, well, so was the boy that got away, you see. He's in death row now for another murder. Hey, man, don't try to scare us. We're cool. You can't hassle us. Get a little charge on us. Let's get off our backs. Well, the way I look at it, son, is three of you were in on that robbery. So I'll just take all five of you downtown. What do you say? What's the charge? How about murder? <laughs> Stay cool. There's nothing they can do to you. You'll be sleeping on your own bed tonight. <laughs> so you're telling me you had to spring all five of those kids? Why? What the hell happened? All the kids were wearing dark sunglasses, and the guy just couldn't ID them. I think he could try a little harder. Well, what difference does it make? If he had ID'd those kids, they'd get out of the smog for a couple weeks, and that would be it. Yeah, now they're back with their Fagan on the street, and it'll give us a better shot at him. You know, going after him is not going to be easy. Those barrio kids don't break. Yeah, we know that. All right, here. Take your best shot. Thank you. See that girl sitting just behind Mrs. Morales? Must be his sister, Irena. I didn't recognize her at first. What do you mean, recognize? You've seen her before? Yeah, that's the one we told you about. She came out of the back of El Gallo right before we went in for the arrest. What are they doing here? It's like I said. Once they start to hassle you, they never let up. Not even... Oh, we bury our brother? There's your answer. Silencio, por favor.
También por tu misericordia lo asocias a los coros celestiales. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Dale, Señor, el descanso eterno y brilla sobre él la luz eterna. Amén. You've been talking to my teachers, to my boss, while I work after school. I've been talking to your teachers and to your boss down at the warehouse, yes. And every one of them say, Emilio, you have a great deal of potential. Yeah, potential. So did Miguel. Let me tell you something. What happened to Miguel here can happen to any one of you kids at any time, and don't you forget it. What can I do? Talk to me for crying out loud. Tell me what you know. And you're gonna protect us? Me and my mother and my sister? You're gonna protect us where we live? Listen, man. Police cars wouldn't even go down there at night without a backup. Go home, Hunter. You got no business here. Speaking of business, you kids know what happens to the money you guys take? Hey, why don't you take off, big man? I bet you don't, do you? It's no use, Hunter. These kids don't want you coming here to this holy place to insult them. How many more of these kids you gonna plan out here, Hector? What kind of a man are you, anyway? I'm the kind of man you made me, Hunter. You send me to the state pen, and I learned my lesson well. Whatever kind of man I am, you were my teacher. Hey, 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 let's go. Hey, hey, And just go once around the block. I'm gonna talk to the owner. Is that him over there by the garbage can? <laughs> you got a sense of humor. I don't. Follow you? Good. Yes. Humberto, my man. When I have a job that takes more than a boy, I call Humberto. Yeah. When Emilio stumbled and Miguel went down, you took the old man out. You stayed cool. You found out how easy it was with the law. All except for one cop, Hunter. He's a danger to us all, especially to you. He doesn't play by the rules. And the rules, Humberto, is what works for us. A cop who ignores the rules is a deadly enemy. Your bank account, you cut from the last two jobs. Get twice as much tomorrow morning. All you have to do is take our enemy out. So what do you got here, Luis? Another list? List of merchandise taken in robberies by Pee Wee gangs since Hector Rivas got out of prison. Oh, don't tell me. So what we do is we check every item on this list to see if we can trace it back to Hector, when we already know he's the Fagan. Is that it? Yeah, it's called police work. What do you got? I have another list of the days of when all the kids were absent from school and the dates of the robberies. 
I know you're gonna be real surprised to find out they match. Well, of course they're gonna match. So what is all this for, to bust these kids? So we can take them to the mountains, so we can paddle canoes? What I wanna know is how we bust the Fagin. Why don't we take a break, huh? Go get some food. Yeah, food. That's what we need. You wanna come along? Chowder night. No, I gotta go home. I just remembered that. I, I haven't hugged my kids today. Here, take this. Where do you put all that? What's the matter with you? Don't you like chowder? Yeah, but not three bowls full with mustard. Hey, it's chowder night. And besides, it's great with mustard. Yeah. You got the bill. I'm going to bring the car around. OK. Drop the gun. Sergeant Hunter, will you make a statement, sir? Give us your side of the story. Did you mean to do it, Sergeant Hunter? Did you know it before? Do you feel any personal responsibility for what happened? Let the man Back off! Let the man through. Did you have to shoot to kill, Sergeant Hunter? Couldn't you have shot that gun out of his hand? You don't take chances doing trick shots when a man's got a gun aimed at your partner. A man, Sergeant Hunter? He was a 16-year-old boy with no record. Could have killed her just as easy as any man here could have killed her. So you aimed to kill? I aimed to stop it. Hey, What's your comment, Captain Wiley? Well, Sergeant Hunter has an excellent record. And I can't really say more until I have the facts, and those will be forthcoming. There'll be a full investigation? Yes, and a closed hearing. What's the worst that can happen to Sergeant Hunter? I think the worst has already happened. Having reviewed all the circumstances, and in consideration of the evidence provided by Detective McCall, 
and of the ballistics reports showing that the boy's weapon was discharged five times before Sergeant Hunter fired a single shot, this board finds that Detective Rick Hunter did act within the guidelines of the department in discharging his weapon in the incident that resulted in the death of Humberto Sandoval. So what are we talking? Leave? Transfer? What? I'll leave. Okay, on what basis? Stress? Well, I just need to be alone, do some thinking, you know. Never killed a 16-year-old boy before. Well, you had no choice. I mean, you protected your partner. You did what any cop should and would do. Okay, Red. As of now, you're on leave. If, uh, if you need my help in any way, you call. I will. Thanks. What's this? Chowder night. Three for me. One for you. Mustard. How about this? How about one, two, three, and four for you, and none for me? You have to eat. That's all I have been doing is eating. I'm tired of eating. I don't want to eat. Okay, then you have to stop eating. You have to do something. I am. I'm thinking. Thinking about opening a pizza parlor. Look, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I am not going to break in a new partner. So if you quit, I quit. I'll quit? Oh, well, why am I quitting? I'm not quitting. I like my job. It's just that I've been thinking. And I've been thinking about uh, everything that's happened. It's changed the way I look at my job. It just hurts to know that a 16-year-old boy could die like that. I know. But listen, Hector Rivas killed that boy. Just as soon as he sent him out to kill a cop. Yeah, I know that, and we're gonna have to prove it. That's right, we have to prove that before somebody, or maybe me, has to kill another one of Hector's kids. That's another thing, you haven't been answering your phone. That's by design. Hunter residence. McCall, Luis. I got a call on the other line for Hunter. I want to patch it through. Yeah, who's calling? Put him through. It's for you, Emilio Morales. Emilio. Yeah, where are you? Be right there. Hector says we're brothers. My real brother's dead. Because I stumbled. Then Humberto, he picked up the gun. He killed the old man. 
And now you killed Humberto. Humberto and me, we grew up together. But I don't blame you. I blame Hector. Well, so do we, Emilio. We've got to stop him. But I can't testify. I can't. What did you want to tell us, Emilio? Another job's going down. Where? When? You must promise that no more of my friends will be hurt. Emilio, I wish we could promise you that, but we can't. We'll do the best we can, though. Tomorrow morning, the farmacia, in the corner of Vallejo and Mendoza, for drugs. Okay, we're gonna be watching. As soon as the transaction is made and Hector gets the drugs, we're gonna nail him. That's what I want. If anybody finds out I told you, I'm dead. We won't let that happen, believe me. Even if it does, just stop Hector. Just don't follow me, please. If we don't find Emilio before they do, we've killed another kid. Why did you have Carlos bring me here? Because I can't show my face. The cops are looking all over for me because of your rotten brother. Emilio? What has he done? He went to the cops. He spilled his guts about the gang and the check-catching job. You said he wasn't there. None of them were. I said that to protect them. But Chaco saw me talking to a hunter and the detective woman. I got Chaco and Sancho and Tito looking all over for him. But if the cops find him before we do, he can testify against us. Even if The law is on their side, not mine. The law can burn me. Now you know where he is. Now tell me. Where Stop are me! Tell me! Your right brother can send me back to San Quentin. To death row. I hope he does. There is no sign of him. I think he's long gone by now, halfway to TJ. No. Emilio wouldn't go very far without he first sees his mother. No! 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 Shut up! Take it. I don't waste nobody's mother. You don't have to. All you have to do is bring her here. Emilia will come to us. Take it. She's still in there alone. I'm gonna go around one more time. Gracias a Dios. ¿Dónde estás? Sí. En la ferretería donde trabajas. Sí. Te voy a traer el dinero. Operadora, 
La policía, por favor. Es una emergencia. Hunter, McCall, this is Luis. This is McCall, come in, Luis. I'm holding Mrs. Morales on the phone. She's had a call from Emilio. Where is he? The warehouse where he works, the Apex Produce Warehouse at, at um... Yeah, we know where it is. We passed it three times tonight. All right, listen. One of the gang overheard the call, which means Hector Rivas knows where he is. Mrs. Morales wants to go to the warehouse. Luis, tell Miss Morales that McCall will stay here with her. I will go to the warehouse immediately. You got that? I'll send a backup. You did good. I want to go get the car. You get rid of her. Get lost, it any. Mrs. Morales. Sí, entiendo. Gracias. Luis, stay on the line. Hey, Emilio. Yes, hey. Come on out. I know you're out of here, is it? Get out of here. Sorry, you okay? Yeah. He's here, man. He is here. I can see it. Drop the gun, both of you. Come on. <laughs> Drop your gun, Hunter. <laughs> Drop it! Unless you want to kill another boy. <laughs> El dinero vino en parte de ustedes. Muchísimas gracias. She says thank you. She knows that you, that all of you have contributed to the relocation money. Well, we wish it could have been more. We better get going. Airlines don't wait. You know what the kids in the barrio think? They think I'm a snitch. They're running away like a coward. Emilio, get this straight. You're not a coward. As a matter of fact, you're a pretty brave kid. But I am running away. Emilio, nobody can make you feel ashamed of yourself without your permission. That's right. Remember that. Yeah. It'll work on us, Spokane. Because, uh, we're coming back. Oh, boy. I mean, not till I get a good education, but I am coming back. Okay, come on. Okay, Luis. <laughs> 